What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I shot a video with Naz for Bennett's Customs uh, maybe a month ago. It was one of my favorite shoots of the year. Shooting here with the Bennett's boys. Got Naz, got a new hoodie that we're shooting. Got a nice car on a Canon R5, 50 mil at a nice location here with a industrial look. So shooting some hoodies and merch with the Bennett's lads in the boiling hot summer. <laughs> Naz is an incredible model and she just repped the hoodies. We're trying to shoot orange hoodies for Bennett's Customs who I work with, who I collaborate with. And it was one of, and I didn't really film it, so I just want to bring you guys on the shoot and how I shot it. In this shoot, uh, I mainly shot with the 35 mil, 35 mil macro, and the 50 mil. These are my go-to lenses for the people that are asking. So as we got to this location, it was an old airfield strip, and my mind was going off. So this is one. This is a video that I haven't showed on YouTube, but I wanted to. I'm really happy with these photos, and I couldn't make a YouTube video for this. So I'm just going to give you guys a bit of a look into my process. We got some footage on an iPhone. Naz is an incredible model. I feel like she could basically be a model on New York Times Square billboard. I'm always looking for for locations that are sort of not blown out behind the subject. And so I wanted this nice either side light or light um, coming from the front um, onto Naz with a darker background and I was, we were at this location and there was a nice concrete wall there. Um, we took it and we parked the car up and we took a couple of shots there of Naz here. Just wasn't, I wasn't fully vibing it. Uh, she was in direct sun so, and, it's, and it's good to expose for your subject in direct sun. Um, and then also because you, you expose for your subject and if you have a darker background the background behind them is nice and dark so you've just got this like nothing's overexposed and ideally that's sort of what I'm trying to go for which I've got a couple of nice shots that I'm happy with um, in direct sun but it just wasn't I feel like there was there was going to be a better place as a photographer you gotta just search for what is going to work for you at that time of the shoot then Jordan walked over to this beautiful concrete wall and it was like shaded the shade was coming down and I thought well if we pull the car up there have the car in the shade, it's gonna be a darker background, we get a reflector, we can, we can reflect that light back at Naz and back at the car and the, and the, back, the, the concrete wall is gonna be darker. So we started there and then straight away I was like, yep, this is what we're after. This is, this is gonna be good. And so then Naz was getting a little bit of rim light on her, on her hair. So she was, which is like nice and cinematic. So we, we had the reflector and we were just getting with Naz. I was directing um, to her to try and do a few things, uh, but good, like good models just move in different spots anyway. They hear the shutter and they're moving their body. So if you're shooting with friends, um, you know, you're gonna have to direct them a little bit more. I was just getting different compositions. The rim light was on her. We had this kind of darker background. She was in the shade and Jordan had, and was holding the reflector. We are creating this look, like what are you trying to achieve with your shoot? And, and we wanted this nice old car, and the, the, it was a really cool character of a car, and then Naz was in this orange hoodie that was popping. She's just got this look and it's very, it's very aesthetically pleasing, and that's why we hire models, because they have that certain look that allows the viewer to, to sort of almost want to look longer at the video or look, look at the photo, and it helps tell the story. That's why there's models. So here's Naz just shooting away. We wanted to try and create some cool stuff with the car, composition, what can we do here? And then get some nice close-ups of the Bennett's hoodie. And then I've got her like in the car. Uh, the reflector again was on her and she was just like sitting in the car and then just I'm just using the, the, the car door as depth. So try and find things to use as depth. Like what can you shoot through? Uh, to use as depth and foreground, which creates more of an interesting photo sometimes. Not always, but I think it is quite cool to use something in the foreground as depth and then just doing some fun stuff with her, some really nice portraits there. And then I thought, so I'd open up the door, shoot through the door frame and just have, have her looking out, some nice lifestyle stuff and then looking straight at the camera. So when you're shooting like, and you want to shoot some portraits and lifestyle, what you can do is get a couple of them looking straight in the camera. So you've, you've got this nice variation of portraits and then just get them like hanging out and just like looking out. You can look out or doing things with their hands and that's creating more of a lifestyle image. So you've, you, in that one section that you're shooting, that one composition, you've, got, you've just nailed your portraits and you've nailed your lifestyle shots. And then you can move on to the next composition in front of somewhere. Um, for, for us, it was like outside of the car, sitting on the bonnet. So then you've again got some more portraits here and then moving into some lifestyle stuff. You just can't fault the character of the car and the pants and the hoodie. 
it's just all just it all created this really nice look um, which is really cool so it's just working around the car here we are again with the rim light um, just sitting on the ground and then maybe trying if for your next shoot whether it's male or female you know I'm, I'm trying to if I could shoot more men I would but not I don't I live in a place where there's not that many male models so it's just usually just women that are keen to shoot and, and that's how it goes so she had a she had a changeover a wardrobe change so then she put some black jeans on and they went to the back of the car and just doing some cool stuff and then Jordan flipped around the reflector to gold and it was just it was just created this different look again of just like this gold glow on her. Almost looked like it was nighttime and it was it was cool, it was just something a bit different. And then we ran to the back of the car, and then Naz was just doing a thing, and I'm just shooting as I go. I don't need to like direct her too much. Sometimes I can just like, yep, play with your hair, do this, hands in pockets. But for the most part, uh, when you have a really good model, they, they just move around, like I said. So that was cool, and then we went to the front of the car, still got the reflector, shooting um, straight in with, and there is a little bit of blown out sky in the background there. It's not super blown out, but I'm always aware of, of where that is, and, and I'm conscious of the sky being blown out, and sometimes you just can't, you can't do anything about it. Try and just look at the corners of your frames, uh, frame of the viewfinder, and just go, okay, what are we working with here? Is it blown out? Is our subject popping? Um, is the background distracting from the subject, from the story, and just look into it like that and just work out what's working and what's not. Does it look good? Can you just turn an angle a little bit and just like create a different composition? And that comes down to experience and shooting. And then, yeah, just like three quarters of the car, again, Naz there. So it was, it was so much fun on this shoot and just a bit of bad shit there, just like, um, pulling rude fingers and then we decided to go in the car because I knew we could like create more of a cinematic look so we can just get the reflector and just shine it straight on her there um, and I will have to say in this in some of these uh, in Lightroom I created a natural uh, vignette with the gradient tool I just brought it down a little bit um, darken the shadows and the, and the highlights and the exposure from the top and in the gradient from the bottom darken the shadows and whites and exposure so she's popping there so she's in the frame and it creates a nice cinematic look so i really like these photos in the car because you got this darker background she's popping the the lights on her um, and it's just she's just got that look of a portrait it's it's uh this looking straight down the barrel of the lens you know she owns it and that's that's what separates i think uh, some taking a photo of, of of a friend to an actual paid model these are some of my favorite photos of the year and they got hold like over 400 likes on Instagram. Look, it's not all about likes, but you can see that vibed with people. It was a really nice shot and she's just like, she owns the frame in there. Like it's really cool. And I walked away with this shoot being really stoked. The idea was just to get this, this shirt, the boys Bennett's shirt. So we got some more stuff there and then she changed shirts and then just kind of get a little bit of a composition again, using the bonnet as depth. So you're just walking around the, the, the car, using the car as a prop, and you're just getting different angles. And, and, and that's what creates a different look with two, two or three wardrobe changes. You can really capture so much in an hour. I think we shot for about an hour and a half, and we just caught like, we, we got so much content. It was really good. As we, and then we went to the side of the car, doing some back stuff, leaning up, bit of lifestyle stuff. And then we pulled, Jordan's like, let's pull away and get the whole car. And then I thought, well, the, just the car's like, it's good, but let's add, add some personality to it. Let's add a human element to it. So I ended up just putting in Naz at the, at the end of the tail of the car, um, kind of dropped low, used a little bit of the, the golden field as, as depth. Um, and then just got her to hang out at the back of the car. So she's just cruising there and yeah, it's just this unique look. Once again, she's hanging out, it's lifestyle, right? And then we got to do some fun shit there with just pulling fingers and yeah, just hanging out. That was that shoot and I think this was one of my f funnest shoots of the year. I've got to be honest, it was a slow start. I was trying to work out where we were going to shoot in the first location and I didn't love it. So don't be afraid to just back yourself in, feel your, your intuition. If you've got a gut feeling to move on, then move on to another location and just feel it out because sometimes it takes time. I think it honestly takes time to warm up in photo shoots. Allow yourself some grace there just to like feel it out, walk around your shoot, 
location and um, and and don't settle until like you're, you're stoked on on the location that you're going for and then you'll see it through the viewfinder and you'll be wrapped on it and you'll walk away from that shoot like really stoked yeah put everything into each shoot for the photographers that are really pursuing this as a career keep showing up keep posting and experimenting and educating yourself this is all about growing your skills so just um, it takes it takes time it doesn't happen overnight it's just self-belief so just really try and believe in yourself uh, continue to learn continue to just get out there and shoot get your 10,000 hours and and have this really just a knowing a sense of, of belief and knowing that you can do it that you can create this as a career just think there's other people out there who are doing it so you can do it too that was my belief in the beginning as I was a farmer and now I'm just out there working for clients around Western Australia. This has been a really fun year in 2023 and I look forward to 2024. Uh, just once again, thanks so much for watching guys. I'm really stoked that you guys are joining me on this journey. I wanna just keep inspiring and educating you. So if there's anything you wanna see in 2024, leave a comment below and uh, I'll, I'll, um, I'll get back to you and see what we can do in 2024 to help you guys move on with your jobs, your career as a photographer. Become relentless in your pursuit to improve and it will happen for you. Be impatient with actions, patience with results. So I really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching this wrap up of NAS shoot and I will see you in 2024. 2024, I'll see you next year. That's a wrap. And I hear song in the ocean.